Hello everyone and welcome to this short video tutorial. Uh, it is a continuation of the boards given in the, in the free ebook but, uh, that is available on the World Shang-Chi Federation. Uh, this, is, this will be board number 6 of chapter 1 and again the, clearings tactic, the clearance tactic is being discussed. So a brief analysis of the board. Uh, this will be in the uh, middle or late Endgame phase, uh, opening phase, sorry. Uh, the red chariot has controlled the rip file, the black has controlled the other rip file, the black chariot. And uh, black has one edge horse and one proper horse, while uh, red has one horse as a proper horse and the other one has moved to the riverbank rank. And that was applying pressure on this uh, red's left flank. Now in the example, P3 plus 1 was given as Black uh, as Red sacrificed his pawn. Now the main motive would be to allow for the Red Horse to be further developed if, let's say, uh, H2 plus 4, H4 plus 3 and Red would be threatening to checkmate with the Angler Horse attack. So when the pawn is sacrificed, Black captured it. And Red will now take aim at the elephant. Now, one of the problems with uh, when you develop a horse and as an edge horse uh, in this manner, the elephant will be blocked by the central cannon and the horse or other pieces in the central file. So, it will become very vulnerable, especially when the chariot has been moved away uh, and it cannot protect the elephant anymore. And Black felt that. The pressure that uh, Red had applied on this flank was too uh, was too much for him, so he decided to move his chariot back to eighth file to offer some protection against Red's uh, attack with the chariot, horse, and cannon. Uh, Red captured the uh, the elephant for the check. And finally, the time was ripe for Red to advance his horse. Now, uh, once the horse was at this position, it was a very, very powerful uh, piece because uh, Red would now threaten to capture the black uh, cannon and go for the elbow horse attack. Or he could play h4 plus 6 to threaten the black chair and also go for the elbow horse attack. Now, in the... In the uh, book H uh, R8 equals to six was given as Black tried to pin the horse and the chariot in the same file. Now at this point in time, Red played R R4 plus one to give himself a route so that the advisor would now be protecting the red chariot. So in the uh, because. Red had uh, protected his chariot. Uh, Black was afraid that Red would now prepare to capture the cannon, and he decided to defend with R6 plus 2 to prevent that. However, uh, would P3 plus 1 have been viable at this point in time? The answer would be no, because the cannon will be captured. Trade off. A check will be delivered first, and Red would have gained a material. As can be seen, uh, Red would now have one chariot, two cannons, and two horses left. Black would only have one chariot, two horses, but only one cannon left, and Red would have gained a uh, material advantage. So that was why Black tried to defend with R6 plus 2 to prevent uh, Red from capturing the central cannon. Unfortunately, as mentioned earlier, the Red Horse would now be able to attack uh, with H4 plus 6 threatening to capture the Chariot again and this would be in fact uh, an exchange of Chariots whereby Black must uh, treat Chariots. So Red chose to capture this Chariot and Black would, would uh, capture the Chariot in this manner. And again, uh, because the horse was now delivering a fork on both the horse and the cannon, and as the cannon was 
that's the black cannon was protecting the black horse. Red could only capture the black cannon, but uh, red would still have the material advantage at this point in time. So, uh, in the book, uh, Age 8 plus 7 was written, which I think was an error because the black cannon was captured. So, a short, a short recap. This can be seen. Uh, just within a span of a few moves, this horse will become a very deadly threat. Uh, sacrificing the pawn, attacking the, attacking the elephant, check and the horse would now be prepared to play r4 uh, h4 plus 5 or h4 plus 6 and black would have to defend in this manner and in the event of a check uh, the king was, could still come out so red would uh, protect his chariot and the rest is history I hope you've enjoyed this very short video and I'll be doing more of these in the near future. If you like my work, please subscribe to my channel to give me some encouragement. Thank you.